So in Customer Router 1, Show IP Protocols, we have OSPF enabled, but we don't have BGP enabled on the router. So BGP 65,000. Neighbor will be 17, 17, 17, 2. Remote autonomous system will be 65,000. That's Customer Router 2. Here's Customer Router 5. I also need to specify that the update source is the loopback interface. So update source is loopback zero. And I'll do that for both of the neighbor relationships. So show IP BGP summary. Relationships are idle at the moment, but I should be able to ping the loopbacks of the neighbors from the local loopback, which I can. So traffic from the source can get to router two as an example, and the same is true for router five. Customer router two, show run section BGP. We have a neighbor relationship to the ISP, autonomous system number 65001. We don't have a neighbor relationship to customer router one or customer router five. So router BGP 65,000, neighbor 17, 17, 17, 1, remote AS 65,000. Update source is the loopback. So loopback is zero. We need to do something similar for customer router five. Update source is the loopback. So show IP BGP summary. The neighbor relationship is now established to customer router one, but it's idle to customer router five because we have to configure customer router five. So customer router five, show run section BGP. No BGP is configured on this router. Show IP protocols verifies that. Only OSPF is configured on the router. So router BGP 65,000. Neighbor. 17, 17, 17, 1. Remote AS is 65,000. Update source is gonna be the loopback. So update source loopback is zero. Neighbor, 17, 17, 2. Remote AS is 65,000. Update source for that neighbor is also gonna be the loopback. So show IP BGP summary. We've got two neighbor relationships. Both are established at the moment. Customer router five, however, doesn't have a relationship to ISP six, so I need to still configure that. So what I'll do is configure customer router five and the ISPs so that we can see a potential problem with the lab. So interface gigabit zero one on customer router five, no shut. IP address is 8191 slash 30 mask. Router BGP 65000 neighbor 8192. This is ISP router 6 in autonomous system number 65003. I'll save for that config. Here's ISP router 6. No configuration has been done on this router. So conf t, hostname ISP router six, interface gigabit zero zero, no shut IP address 8.1.9.2 slash 30 mask, interface gigabit zero two, no shut IP address 8.1.10.1 slash 30 mask, interface gigabit zero one, no shut IP address 8.1.11.1 slash 32 mask. So show IP interface brief. We should see that the IP addresses are configured and that interfaces are up and that's true. So that's great. Next thing we need to do is configure BGP. Autonomous system number is 65003, neighbor 8.1.9.1. Remote AS is 65000. This is customer router five, neighbor 8102, remote autonomous system number is 65001. That's ISP router four in this autonomous system. Neighbor 
8.1.11.2, Remote Autonomous System Number 65004, that's ISP Router 7. So show IP BGP summary. We've got one active neighbor relationship to customer router 5. The other two are not up yet. So let's configure ISP router 4. ISP router 4 has IP addresses configured on gigabit 00 and gigabit 01, not gigabit 02. So interface gigabit 02, no shut. IP address 8.1.10.2 slash 32 mask. We should be able to ping the other side at this point. So do ping 8.1.10.1 and that's successful. So router BGP 65001, neighbor 8.1.10.1, remote AS 65003. Now, some of this requires knowledge of the previous lab. We previously configured BGP on this router with the other neighbor relationships to customer router two and ISP router three. So all we need to do here is configure the relationship to ISP router six. So what I haven't done is advertise routes. So I'm gonna advertise 8110.0 and I'll do it on the side. With BGP, I need to use the mask keyword. So that's good. Now I need to do that on ISP router six. So on ISP router six, show run section BGP. I configured the neighbor relationships, but I haven't advertised any routes. So router BGP 65003 network 8190. The mask to use is a slash 30 mask in this lab. And then I'll do something similar for 81100 and 81110. So show IP BGP summary. This router has two active neighbor relationships. Show IP BGP. It's advertising some routes itself like these. And it's also learning routes from neighbors. So that's good. Let's configure ISP router seven. ISP router seven was not part of the previous lab, so it hasn't been configured yet. So host ISP seven. Something similar will be done here. IP addresses need to be configured and the neighbor relationships need to be configured. So no configuration was done on this router previously. It's a brand new router. So show IP interface brief. IP addresses are configured. I forgot to no shut some of the interfaces. So I'll no shut gigabit 01 and 02. Show IP interface brief. Interfaces are now up and are configured. So we should at this point be able to ping ISP router six. So ping 8.1.11.1, that works. I'll configure ISP router five in a similar way to ISP router four. This router was configured with gigabit 0001 and the loopback, but it hasn't got gigabit 02 configured. So on that interface, no shut, 8.1.13.2 slash 30 mask and it should be able to ping 81131 in other words isp router 7 which it can so while i'm here i'll configure bgp so show run section bgp bgp relationships to other routers are configured but not to isp router 7 that's because it's a new router in the topology so router bgp 65001 Neighbor 81131, remote AS is 65004. So before I save the config show IP BGP summary, we still have an idle relationship on ISP router seven. I need to configure ISP router seven with BGP. So show IP protocols on ISP router seven. BGP is not enabled. Before I do that, I forgot to advertise the route into ISP router five 
So back on ISP router five, network eight one thirteen zero mask is a slash 30 mask. Save that config. So I'm simply advertising this network and I'll do something similar on ISP seven when I configure BGP. So ISP router seven, router BGP 65004, neighbor 81132, that's ISP router five, neighbor 81111, that's ISP router six. 65,003 is the AS number. And then we still need to configure a neighbor, which is customer router three, eight one twelve two, remote AS is 65,002. And then I'll advertise the networks, 81.13.0 and 11 and 12. So show IP BGP summary. We've got two established neighbor relationships, one to ISP router six, one to ISP router five. The relationship to customer router three is not up yet. So I'll quickly configure that. And then we can start working on the BGP routing and route manipulation. So router BGP 65002 on customer router three, neighbor 81121 remote AS, 65004, interface gigabit 03, no shut, IP address 81122, ping 81121, ISP router 7, that works. Notice neighbor relationship has come up, so show IP BGP summary. The relationships are all up on customer router 3. Notice we're receiving 18 prefixes from those neighbors. And back on ISP router seven, show IP BGP summary, neighbor relationships are all established. So I've configured BGP in the core network. I've established BGP relationships between customer router five and the ISPs as well as customer router three and the ISPs. So let's go back to completing the tasks 